YouTube. Is it a job? And if it is, is it a good one? All right, I want to start by saying I have been doing this YouTube thing all wrong for all these years. Now, I have been watching some of the best at their craft. I see how they entice their community. I'm taking note of what the good people, the blessed people do. I know, I know, I'm a disciple of Satan, and only the blessed are caring, giving people. The evil are much more difficult to persuade to fall prey and open their wallets, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to start doing YouTube the right way starting now. Before I start this video, I would like to remind you to like, share, and leave a comment. Some of you watch my videos and you're not subscribed. I would like to kindly ask you to click that subscribe button. I will also kindly direct you to the information section of this video. There is where you can find a PayPal link so you can send me money. You can also click that join button and become a member so you can give me money. Come to my live streams every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. There you will see a little dollar sign. Click on that little dollar sign and you too can give me money. There. Now I'm a real YouTuber doing things the right YouTube way. Seriously though, isn't that what YouTube is all about for most people? It's how they make money. You get ad revenue once you meet the criteria and become a partner. That isn't enough for those with dollar signs in their eyes though. So that leads me to ask, is YouTube a good job or career path? Unlike Sarah Sarah Tim, I am not a, a financial advisor, nor am I an expert on YouTube. I do find that um, me being just a YouTube hobbyist, I know a lot more about how YouTube works than a lot of people that YouTube is their main source of income. That's right. It's how they make a living. It's their job and they don't know how it works. And I'm sure that's how they encountered the workforce and they, you know, approached their work environment the same way and that's probably why they can't make it in the real world and they have to come on youtube and hold your hand out and say give me money but all that being said i'm not here to persuade you one way or the other I, I am merely going to lay out some points for you to consider i'm going to just tell you some of the things that i see and give you something to compare and you can make up your own mind now firstly there are a lot of channels out there and even big successful ones. And they all say this, this one little thing. It's simple. All you got to do is, and that's it. The big misconception about YouTube is you just pull out your phone, hit record, and then upload whenever you, whatever you just filmed. That's, that's not it. That's just the beginning. That's just the jumping off point. There's a whole lot more after that. Now, let me make it clear. If you're just posting the post, that's, yeah, that's, that's very different. What I'm going to be talking about is if you want YouTube to be your job, you know, make enough money by yabbering on YouTube and posting your whatever and paying your bills with that money, being able to survive. That's right. Be able to pay your taxes, pay all your bills, your car insurance, buy a new car and still have money left over, all that good stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Not just, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's something to do. I'm talking about actually making this your business, your livelihood. There's far, far, far more to it than, oh, it's, it's easy. All you got to do is. No, it's more than that. Because first of all, you are somewhat of a subcontractor, I guess you could say, for YouTube. You're the boss and you're self-employed. And the subcontractor thing comes in because it's not your company per se. You can't just go and do whatever you want to do. You must follow the guidelines set by YouTube. You will also get a 1099 and you are responsible for paying taxes on any and all of your earnings. Now, when you have a traditional nine to five job, you show up, you clock in, you work your eight hours, you punch out and you go to hell home. 
There you go. Done. Boom. It's pretty simple. You work five days a week and you have, uh, typically I'm talking to normal stuff. You have the weekends and holidays off. It's your time. Now let's look at YouTube now. And again, livelihood, making enough money to survive. And let's look at the majority of YouTubers. Okay. Um, you got to come up with something to create something. I don't Whatever it is you have to, that's the first thing you got to be very creative. You have to come up with something. Then you got to film it. And then if you're going to do this, most, almost all you have to edit, you have to do some kind of editing. Then it has to render. Now you have to upload to YouTube. Well, now you need some kind of title. You probably should have started with that in the first place because what are you going to do? Well, the title, well, if not, but you need a title and you need a thumbnail. You, you got to grab people while they're scrolling through the bazillion other ones. Uh, they have to click on yours. So you need a title and a thumbnail. So let's not just wing it here. Right folks. And then you need to uh, put something down in that little information section for the few people that do actually look at it. Ah, uh, yes, the information section. Yes, that is where the description is. But more importantly, or should I say most importantly, is where all the many ways for you to collect money is. Your PayPal, your Patreon, your Buy Me a Coffee, your Amazon affiliate links, your merch, and of course, links to your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, your website, and any fucking thing else you seem to have. Now it's time to go in and pick your tags, your category, what playlist you're going to post this thing to. Are you posting now? Are you going to schedule it to go up later? And, and, and a host of other things. It's not just upload and then you're done. No, you, you got, you got things to do folks. All right. You got all that done. The video goes live and yeah, there you go. All good to go. Now I can go relax, right? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Didn't take too awfully long. It was pretty easy. Hey, this YouTube stuff is, oh, but wait. You're not even close to being done yet. This is how you're going to make a living people. You need your channel to grow. You got to get subs and you got to get views. More views equals more money. Now you have to go post to all your other social media accounts to drive traffic to your YouTube. Oh, and then you got to run over and you got to update that website, right? Because if you have a, a website and a YouTube and other things, when uh, people do searches into the old googly googly box there, uh, there's more likelihood of you popping up and, and everything kind of interconnected and intertwining and again, driving traffic to where you want it to go. All right. So yeah, I took a couple of Insta posts and Insta, Insta pictures and I posted that over there on Instagram. I did a tickety talk real quick. That only takes a cut mess. I went over to the X or whatever it's called. Now I updated all my friends and family on Facebook. I did all that stuff. So, okay, now I'm done, right? I'm fucking done. It's time to relax, right? Nope. Remember that Patreon link that you directed everyone to earlier? Because you want money, another way to collect money and make money. Well, you need some content for those people because you want them to come back and you want them to keep paying you every month for your content over there. So <laughs> get busy and come up with something to post for them there, folks. And while you're thinking about all that, maybe you can use the same thing. Maybe you want to do something different, but uh, do you have that YouTube member button activated? Sure you do. Of course you do. You want money, right? You need more money and that's another way to make money. So I'm sure you activated that shit. Well, you got to give those folks something too. So get back to it. All right. This day's getting kind of long. Got a lot of time doing, doing all this bullshit. My fingers are getting tired. M my eyes are getting tired. It, this is getting, it's getting to be a long day, long today. What time do we clock out here? Oh shit. We ain't done yet. Well, no, you, you're surely done now, right? You did all your your social media gig, your YouTube videos been up for a while now, and now you can go and uh, kick back and watch some YouTube buddies of your own are doing it. No, no, no. Cause while you were doing all that, your comment section lit up and is all a buzz. Your adoring fan, you know, those fans that, uh, you know, the ones that are giving you money and are watching your shit. So you get more money and all that good stuff. 
Well, they want some interaction. They're not just going to keep coming back and leaving comments and doing this and that. They want to interact with you. They're fans of you. They want you. They just don't want to watch your shit and go. No, they're leaving. They're taking their time out of their day to watch you and taking more time to clickety clack on those keys and leave you a comment. You want that money, don't you? You want them to come? Well, you better get over there and start hearting some shit and answering some comments. All right. Whew. Man, it is getting late. This is a long ass day. Uh, it's got to be time for me to be done. Surely I can relax now and call it a day, right? Well, you just went through your emails and someone sent you an email and wants to send you a product to review. That means you're going to get something for free. And all you got to do is make a little review video. Then you can sell that shit and make more money. Hell yeah. That's why we're here. We're doing this for money. More money. Well, now you gotta go deal with all that shit. Well, I guess the good thing with that is, is now you have uh, some content for a video. You don't have to come up with a new idea. You just gotta, hey, looky here. I'm gonna do a review of this free thing I got. Well, now let's uh, just hope that all your followers will uh, enjoy it and your view count doesn't drop. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I've seen a couple channels that they were doing really good and getting thousands of views per video doing their normal talkie head stuff or doing whatever their van life or whatever. Then all of a sudden every other day they got a new e-bike and you've seen it go down, 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 down until their views drop below a thousand views because they were pushing all this free shit because you did get it. You push it then you sell it and you get that money. But in the meantime, what's happening to your views? Oh shit. So what is happening? Well, now Guess I better go over and uh, check out my analytics. See how the channel's performing. We can't let things get out of hand because once it goes, it's hard to get it back. So uh, what videos are doing well? Which ones aren't? Who's watching? When are they watching? What's the average watch time and the click-through rate? <laughs> if you gain subscribers, lost subscribers, what are you doing different? Why? When did the video drop off? Are they watching here? Go check the video. Look at the little spike. Well, it dropped off here. Why? What did I do? What can I change? Oh, we got to keep this going. Oh, man. This is getting harder in this day is getting longer. All right. Kicking back now. I'm not dealing no more of this stuff. My day has got to be done. This day has been long as shit. Oh, that's right. I made that little promo pack and sent it out to it in an attempt to get me some sponsors so I can get even more money. Well, <laughs> damn, you just got a response from one. Now you have to go negotiate all that and then figure that all out. And you got your little script, what, what they want you to say, what they don't want you to say, what their expectations are, how many, you know, is it a 30 second spot, a 10 second spot Do they want you to do it every video once a month, twice a month, how often you got to do. So now you got to deal with all that. All righty. Oh, geez. It's gotta be over, right? Oh. Okay, so now I got to do is just figure out what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it, and, and where I'm going to slip this little product plug into my video so I can push these people's junk so I can get some money. Remember, it's easy. All you got to do is, <laughs> and I'm telling you, the majority of this is what you do every day. You have to come up with something new. And, and to post every day. It's a new thing. What are we going to talk about today? What are we going to do today? If you're a reaction channel, sure. You just find something else and you can react to it. If you're a, a, a talking about current events and everything, the news gives you stuff constantly. So you have stuff. If you're some kind of entertainer or anything, you have to come up with something every day. An idea, a thought, a topic, whatever it is. It's a fresh new day. It's time to start this whole madness bullshit all over again. Well, and, and unless you're Sarasota Tim, then you can just get coffee every morning and say the same shit every day, but that's the exception. So you're doing okay. The money's rolling in and you're seeing that the money's rolling in. So you're like, well, if I'm doing this, I got to keep going because if I don't, the money's going to stop because I look and if you don't post and then that little number starts going down, your, you know, amount at the end of the month. So you got to keep that up. So you don't take off weekends because that's when people are, are uh, that are on their prison jobs. That's when they're home. 
That's when they're not at work, they're at home. And you definitely don't take off holidays for the same reason. So you, you just got to keep cranking that shit out. Blind views, come on. There are lots of channels that don't post every day. True. But they worked up to that point. Go ahead. Start your YouTube channel out. Well, not even start it. Just at 10,000 subs, say, fuck it. I got 10,000 subs. I'm going to quit my job. And I'm going to post three times a week. And then you let me know if you make enough money <laughs> to pay your bills and, and eat and stay alive. Yeah, not going to happen. Now let's talk about your boring ass prison job. It's not nearly as exciting or as easy as this YouTube stuff. Because remember, it's simple. All you got to do is... <laughs> <laughs> well, at your boring prison job, you get X amount of money per hour. You work 40 hours a week. You get paid time off for holidays, personal days, and vacation time. You get medical benefits. You may also even be lucky enough to get one of those little matched 401ks. You put in this much and the company puts in, they match your shit up to a certain amount. You may even get a raise or even a fucking promotion because you're an attaboy kind of guy. You're a company guy. You show up every day. You do your thing, right? You know exactly, exactly what your bring home pay is going to be every single month. Your paycheck, you get it. It has all the taxes taken out and everything's all done for you. You get your check or it's direct deposited. Your money's in the bank. You get sick, you go to the doctor, you pull out your company medical card. Sure, you might have to pay some, but it's a big group rate, so you definitely get a lot better rate than if you were on your own. YouTube, you never know how much you're going to get every month. It varies. If you get anything at all. That's right. YouTube, you work all day. That's right, all day. Usually more than eight hours a day. <laughs> If you're trying to make a living on YouTube, you work seven days a week. Yeah. Not five with two off and no, you seven days a week. If you don't post a video that day, you're doing something YouTube related. Definitely. You're, you're checking comments. You're looking at this. You're trying to get sponsored deals. You're trying to do something. There's something YouTube related. Even if you didn't post that day, most days are definitely longer than eight hours, like I said, and, and you don't get any benefits. If you get sick, you, you have to pay for your own health insurance or you're going to pay hospital bills, doctor bills, and everything else, and all that bullshit. You can take time off, but if you do, you ain't getting paid for it. And let's face it, you're a YouTuber. You're an influencer. You're here on social media. So even if you do take a vacation, what do you do? Ooh, this would make great content. <laughs> so what do you do? You experience your vacation through the lens of a damn camera. But blind views, look at Sarasota Tim. He points, shoots, and uploads. He puts in zero effort and repetitious content. It takes him no time at all. That's how he gets to post eight videos a day. Yes, this is all very, very true and a great example. An example of someone, even though it's his source of supplemental income, it's someone that does not treat it as a business. He has no clue how YouTube works. He has no clue on how to use the tools that YouTube supplies to him to make his channel grow. So his channel may grow, but it's going to grow very, very slowly. And he will most likely never make it to a point where he could actually survive off of his YouTube earnings alone. And that is just another thing to consider. You never know how much money you will make. You work long days for what can amount to less than minimum wage per hour. I mean, Dana, Montana Dana, she uh, just made a video not too long ago about her uh the making of her musical videos which i think are amazing very talented very creative definitely something that i enjoy watching but 
it's not getting viral views it is in my opinion some of the best stuff on youtube but anyway she said when she sat down and figured out the, the time just the time alone that she put into making one of those episodes she was getting paid for what she made she was getting paid 36 cents an hour there you go and that's real numbers that isn't uh you know blowing sunshine up your ass and youtube's great and uh yeah she she told you the truth and yeah sure you could get that that big viral video and and get a big old payday but that comes along and your eyes light up and you go oh like tim oh look i can do that so then you start cranking out and you start getting repetitive and you start doing dumb shit but and you start chasing that again but then when your views go back to normal yeah the pay is very very different it isn't that you know million view video number no once you get back to reality you go oh yeah okay so this is what the money really is there's always that chance you could just have a shitty month for whatever reason your content's not up to snuff people ain't watching it whatever views are down i don't know you got sick you didn't post that much and when you did you're you're you weren't into it and people can look at you know you can you can be pissed off a little bit sad not feeling it or whatever and you could get on here and put on that fake smile but it comes through for people that really watch and really care it's very obvious that you're faking it i mean even the blind guy can see when people just yeah that's phony shit your true feelings it comes through that camera lens believe me it, it's not easily hidden but um you know it, anything could happen in a month and you could get half of what you're used to not like your your job where you know i'm getting this paycheck and it's going to be this much and oh even if i took a week off i got that vacation time so i'm still getting paid or i got a personal day because i got sick all that stuff you don't get that shit with youtube then there's that other thing that people don't think about is uh your other your fellow youtubers somebody here on the platform could do some stupid shit and have another one of those you know where the <laughs> advertiser getting <laughs> where all the advertisers bail out and there you go ad revenue goes way down everybody's panicking everybody's flipping out oh uh, youtube just updated their policies and changed this and changed that oh god i'm going here i'm going there i'm leaving uh, go over here to discord go to here i'm getting i'm out of here and, and it's just you know all this shit the mad panic and, <laughs> and all that shit sets in people go off and then if if you know what you're doing and you know how youtube works you know that there are certain times of the year where ad revenue is way up and people post their ass off and they do crazy because they know it's that time of year. So they post, post, post. I mean, people that you will see normally that post three times a week, they will post every single day because it's ad time. Ad revenue goes way up. And then on the flip side, that's right. Ad revenue goes way down and well, people know it. And there's no other way to say it, but the money sucks and yes there are channels that are become extremely successful they make really good money and it's not that easy though it's this doesn't fall in your lap and then you get to the point where you, you got a staff because hey hey i'm not gonna be editing i'm sending this out to get edited and i need people to do this and check this and do that so you have people now now you have a staff now you have that extra burden on your shoulders. You have to crank out the content to make money. You got to keep cranking it out whether you want to or not. You can't slow down. You can't take a break because now you have people. You have people that are dependent on you for their livelihood. So we got to crank out videos. We got to look for more sponsors. We got to do this. We got we to do all this because we can't let these folks down. Their livelihood depends on me. Keeping this going, I guess what I really want to say is this. If you want to create and create good quality content, content that people are going to want to come back to time and time again, it's not as easy as some people make it out to be. If you want to make a living, if you want to be interesting, informative, entertaining, or whatever, and acquire and keep and grow an audience so you can make that money point shoot and upload it ain't gonna do it 
And if you listen to those people that tell you, all you have to do is just turn on your phone, do something interesting and upload it, and you can make a living on YouTube. Yeah, you're going to be very, very disappointed. You have to remember this. The chance of you coming up with something original <laughs> and something that's going to be standing out amongst the millions and millions of other people that are posting shit on here. Yeah. The chances of that happening are very, very slim. So you're not going to be coming in above and beyond everybody. You just got to find your way in the middle and somehow poke your head out long enough for somebody to go, Hey, and go pick you because original content. Yeah. It, it's been done. What are you going to do that one of these bazillion other people haven't done already? So yes, you can make a living on YouTube and yes, you get to get to that point and you can say YouTube is my jobby poo, but it's going to take some time and a lot of effort, a lot more than what a lot of people say. It takes more than 10 minutes of you just staring into your phone and yabbering about something. It's not going to fall into your lap and you definitely have to have some thick skin. You're going to have to hear some stuff and read some shit that <laughs> you're not going to find very fun. And yes, it is definitely going to take work. So when they all say, all you got to do, it's simple. All you got to do is, yeah, that's bullshit. But hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's never the point. The point is, this is blind views and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.